In this channel, we have a tradition where I suit up for the season finale, but still no pants. And you know why? You should know by now. Say it with me now, because this is a hobby, not a job. Let's begin. Here we go. Black Rose. That's right. Ragnarok showed up, killed apparently like 100,000 people in the Velgalten Empire, which is like Anna Rose's empire. The blue haired girl from season one. This guy Mordred. Oh, Shadow did something there, by the way. Arc Fiend. He says Arc Fiend, but he just said Mao. I guess Demon Lord and Mao is the same thing, right? Oh! One shot! But it's just the arm. What? What's he going on? <laughs> okay. Epic intro. That's a replay. Episode 12 title called Highest? This is the peak? I am the one who lurks in the shot. No! Oh shit! Those who lurk in the shadows to hunt the shadows. Show me that one more time. Look at this. He fucking did the hand signal. All right, may I ask, who are you? Maharam, get up. How did he know? How did he know they would all roleplay for him? So good. That's Lambda. Lambda's there, yeah. Oh, Zay. Oh, sorry. Uh, Victoria's there, too. Get revenge. That's a big ass boy, but like, are you really strong? Can you really compete with Shadow? No, he can't. Maybe super strong, though. <laughs> Ass head and mom's head? What the fuck did you just say? Did you, you overestimated your own power. This fucking idiot is about to eat his own words. Whose voice? A night beyond men. Epsilon! Epsilon and Beta's here. <laughs> well, against the shades, they're probably pretty strong. Yeah? Okay, invisible sword. Elven artifact. True! Without their artifact, what are you? Damn. Borrowed power, remember? The true almighty. <laughs> He's just getting straight up roasted. Hold your armor and even your capes are artifacts too. Bro is nothing without this. Damn. Very rare that Beta and, and Epsilon are ever synced like this. Because they, you know, they're rivals. But damn. They're just double teaming him. The soundtrack is so good right now. Masaka. They're talking in such bored, like, uh, what's it called? Monotone. It really looks like they're condescending, huh? Get the fuck out of here. Okay, Oriana. What's Oriana's goal right now? Because Perv Asat's dead. Mom is dead. Are we going to save people here? We're going to try to fight random people? Oh, Lambda. Kai and Omega, too. <laughs> Margaret! Maggie Waggy, where's Kevin? Kevin's fired. She probably feels so bad. Because Margaret hated Oriana based off of lies. There we go, okay, she's back. Now bring Kevin back too. He didn't eat your biscuits, that was Sid. Queen Rose. Who's gonna be the king though after this? So he just thinks that it's an Isekai bat. This Ragnarok that they summoned is just a random bat? He's even talking in his like normal Sid voice too, huh? Not the Shadow voice. Hey, hold up! This is John Smith magic! The voice changed. More Oriana stuff? Oh. 665 and 664 are so nice. Mordred's getting double teamed by Epsilon and Beta. Oh, that was fast. Who was that? He got off screen. I... Fuck, I just...
Are, are every Knights of the Round Table just jokes? Like, so far, we've seen Nelson, and he kind of got trounced by, you know, Beta, uh, Delta. But, like, even now, Beta and Epsilon just straight up roasted him, saying, you're fucking your shoes, your fucking cape, your fucking everything trash, bro. You are trash. And he just gets off screen. Technically, the real strong person here is Ragnarok, but damn, it's kind of disappointing that the rounds the Night Table are kind of all trash. Still funny though that they just got fucked so hard. Technically, it was 2v1, but I shouldn't be playing defense on him. Isn't this the point where they usually take the pills and then they start to like monsterize? Are the magical beasts important? <laughs> He's still talking in such a condescending way. Outside of our world. There exists countless other worlds. We know this because Sid is from Earth. You're not referring to Earth right now, though, right? Like, are we going like multiverse theory? Like, like different universes? Like, we're not just going to stay in this like Isekai world. We could get Isekai to other places too. Hold up. Let Mordred cook. <laughs> Dimensions entirely. Okay, where are you going with this? Okay, that's where the magical beasts come from, I guess. Cult the Diablo Sigil. Our world is right in the middle? Is, is that what it is? So the, so the entire world revolves around us? Like this current world? What is that? Oh, we don't know that. We don't know what's in the middle. That's like some end game shit. <laughs> Marjit's calling me out so fucking hard. Because all I do is fucking yap. Stop making comments. I'm sorry. Are we going to visit these other worlds? Worlds collide? Could it be that we humans too, like the magic and its creatures, came here from other worlds? Well, we know Sid did. And I thought we don't have really to worry about it because it's just bullshit isekai. You know, you fucking get hit by a truck, you get transported to a different world. That's how it works in anime. But right now, we're straight up talking about a mechanic that exists in this anime. Different realms exist, different universes, different worlds. Or and Akane Nishino? Nishina? Is this how she comes back? Wait, hold up! Hold the fuck up! Are we gonna collide with Earth or how? Where are we from? Where's everybody here from then? Where are the humans from? What realm? This is some insane plot right now, guys. Yeah, so... From like a beast demon realm? But the original. Aurora? How does she... Visitor from a realm, Aurora. Yeah, we need to go talk to Aurora about this. The first realm. Is that the thing in the middle of the Cult of Diablo sign? Oh, I think I missed something there. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I think I missed something there. We gained several pieces of wisdom from him. First... Hold up. First realm, that's where Aurora could be hypothesized to be from. We gain several pieces of wisdom from him. Who is him? That is one of them. Who, who is him? So the Black Rose is an artificial gate to a different realm. But... That's not fair. You, you can't burden, you know, you can't punish people or what their ancestors did. That's, that's some bullshit. And the mom was probably trying to do it from the beginning. The dad refused, but I bet the mom wanted to do it so bad. Dad's goaded, actually. Like, dad is so good. He's talking like he's still gonna win. Bro, how do you feel like you're in control right now? Beta and Epsilon are about to fucking trash you again. What are you talking about? Let's play that again. But okay, I, I want you guys to kind of take importance note too. The grand ruler of the fourth realm. Different realms. Who knows how many realms there actually are, but Ragnarok's, I guess, from the fourth. All right, let's see. Let's see Mordred get fucking jobbed again. Boom! What, what hit him? What hit him? Just a random boulder from a fight? Okay, it's a Ragnarok storm. That's even funnier. Because he was just hyping up Ragnarok. Super elite to Asian to John Smith, but it's Shadow. He really likes that power. It actually works really nicely though for Sky Combat, huh? The strings. He's fucking trash, bro. Dio's voice actor is actually putting on a show though. 
Victoria Death Glare to Oriana. Oh my god, so cold. Yeah, we still have Mordred here, though. What's he gonna do? Take some pills now? He's actually going like schizo. He's going schizo right now. <laughs> Who killed him? Wait, what just happened? Wait, wait, what? I, I'm kind of confused on what happened there. So he was going crazy. Did he just take a bite? I think he put his face into the flesh of Ragnarok. So is he gonna get some kind of power up from this? What, what are you doing, bro? Put his head in there, okay. Phase two. Mordred, let's see it. Did he just say recycling special effects? Mordred now looks like that one guy from Hell's Paradise. The guy had an orange hair too like this. Sid looks so disappointed. Defect. Cult of Diablo's transformation defect. Oh my god. Did you see? Did you see? Look at this. Look at Victoria's face. Oh my gosh, she is so horny right now. So did he not transform perfectly there? That's why he's a defect? No, come on! How are you gonna throw straight bullets at Delta right now? We're just doing barehanded combat, by the way. Again, just barehanded combat. He always does this whenever people transform. Oh shit, we're in space? Behind. Above. Oh, Shadow's voice is back. Okay. A heavenly lightning. How are we breathing in space right now, by the way? Don't worry about it. Okay, okay we're going through the speech of I'm Atomic again. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> this is reminding me of the episode. Okay, by the way, he just fucked up his speech there. He was like, huh? What was it again? The exponent, the function or something? But by the way, this is identical to episode 5, season 1. This dude, Mordred, has no fucking idea what a proton is. He doesn't know what a fucking nuclear attack is. Xenon Griffey was saying the same shit. He just empty stare. What the fuck is bro talking about? He just fucked up his speech too. Look at this. And the critical barrier. And uh... Yeah, something like that. Yeah, something does something. Yeah, of course. And then boom! Yeah, yeah, just go boom. That's right, no one cares. Sid's voice is back. I'm Atomic? I'm atomic and coming. That is he casting it on like our planet? Universal I'm atomic? The Almighty. I'm atomic. Stop it! Wait! This is a dimensional level I'm atomic! Play it back now. Play that shit back. By the way, he fucking you, you know these purple things. This only happens whenever he uses I'm atomic, right? But look at the scale of this right now. We're out in space. It looks like he created a fucking field around the planet, but I think it's just around us, right? But still, I'm done playing. Oh, can we put the barrier around the planet? Oh my god. I'm atomic. Hey, some more. Yo, his hoodie came off too! His hood came off there! Galactic level I'm atomic. Is... Is the space... Gone? Then? Like, our planet's safe, but what about all the other planets around us? In this, like, solar system? Yukime. That's the original I'm atomic hole. Ada. Oh, everybody's here! Okay, everybody's watching! Skeleton Poe too? Wait, wait, wait. I want to check. I want to check everybody that was watching. Hold up, hold up. First, first you had Alexia, right? Yukimi and Alpha because they got that alliance going on. Actually, that's not Alpha, right? Because this is Yukimi right here. No, that's a separate girl. I'm not sure who that... No, is that Gamma? I'm not really sure. That might be Gamma? Elizabeth? I don't really know, but there's another girl beside Yukimi. This is Alpha. This is Alpha. Who is this? Do we know this girl? She has the Cult of Diablos sign right here. I don't think we've ever met her. I, I see that there's a belly button here, though. I, I see the belly button here. Interesting. On the balloon, we have Ada. We have Delta right over here. I think this is Claire. Yeah, because she has the band. It's kind of hard to tell because the hair colors are all gone. Claire. This is... Don't know. Skeleton Poe? 
Goldie and Quinton? Goldie fucking made it in. I don't think this is Quinton because you can see the hair because Quinton is bald. Goldie fucking made it? Uh, that's, that's Murray. That's Murray from the tavern. Yeah, this is like galactic level anatomic. Victoria's so down bad. So like, did we clear out the entire planets around us? We only protected our world. Did you just annihilate all space? I don't know. Dimension is twisting. Is that a realm? Is that a realm? Don't press it. What are you doing? Did we just get used to kite again? The ring is gone too. Did we just get isekai? Dude, we, we, we just got isekai. Where are we? That's a tower and buildings and... Looks kind of post-apocalyptic here. Whose voice? Gamma? Whose voice is this? HA! <laughs> this fucking girl! She's from episode one! This is Nishino or Nishina Akane, right? Oh, we're back to Earth! We just did a full cycle! <laughs> Cause I was thinking, did this show actually give so much detail to this fucking character? Not to show her again, but no! She's fucking bad! Nishimura, I don't fucking know her name, bro! I'm Sid right now in episode 1 when I don't even fucking know her name, I keep fucking butchering it! Alright, we're back on Earth! Okay, she's in her 20s now, time has obviously passed, couple years. Not that long though, huh? I guess time travels differently in different realms. What's going on? What the fuck happened to Earth? It's like post-apocalyptic now. She's like in her 20s. And it looks like she's trying to like rescue people. There's a bunch of like, uh, it's like missing posters. What the fuck happened to Earth right now? Like some kind of zombie apocalypse? What the fuck? Her friends. <laughs> she, this is like... Is this a reverse isekai? But we came back to our, where we started. I, I don't know. Holy shit, we're back. Yeah, the one that ignored your name. Oh, come on. This looks okay. There was nothing memorable about him. Yet she's still fucking obsessing over the guy that ignored him. Fucking like how long ago? Like five years later? Bro, come on. Yeah. The day that he saved her, I think, with the with the fucking crowbars. No one they attack. Who's they? Who are we fighting? Zombies? Oh. Mm, that's not mine, is it? What the fuck was that? Is that magic power she's using? I don't know anymore. Maybe magic collided here. I don't know. Maybe this world got collided with a different realm and there's monsters attacking, but there's also magic introduced to this world now. And shit. <laughs> Do I know this guy? Hold up. There's no way this guy is um, from episode 1, right? I might be forgetting, but if this is a callback to one of the, the people that we beat in episode 1, I would be fucking laughing. I, I don't think it is, right? But, okay, we got some, we got some cyborg looking <laughs> dude. <laughs> Wait! Aren't these literally... It's the same people! This is the same... Oh my god. Season 2 is about to end with Akane being kidnapped. And then Stylish Bandit Slayer is gonna fucking show up. It's gonna be a book close. Oh my god. What a poetic ending. It's the same fucking dude. <laughs> Interesting that they went all cyberpunk though. And they have all these like mech infused into them. Deja vu. Noble knights? We're knights? She's the great savior? What the fuck? She's the great savior now? Client. Where, where the fuck is the plot going, dude? Hmm? Who's he? Batman? Remember? Styles Banner Slayer? Yeah, with the crowbars? He still has PTSD? <laughs> where is he? He's gonna show up. Come on. Show up with the pair of crowbars. Oh, he's talking fine now. Where is he? Where is he? He's gonna drop him. Oh. There he is. There he is. The exact same way. Oh my god, dude. Oh! 
<laughs> dude, in the in episode one, Sid did a cool. He broke one of the windows. I think this might be the actual window he broke. I don't know. He broke a single window and broke and came down. But this time, he fucking just breaks the entire fucking roof. Oh shit. Oh shit. Boom. That's right. There he is. He who lurks in the shadows to hunt the shadows. Stylish Vanda Slayer. Oh, oh, oh my. Oh, that's like a fucking 10 piece combo. Just fucking left, right, left, right. Barehanded, by the way. No crowbar. Oh, you done fucked up. Season one opening is playing. Damn. Say the line. Wow. You got the fucking crowbars out too. What a callback to season one. What a fucking way to end up season two. Now, I'm not sure if this is the right terminology I'm using, but I think this is called a callback or a book close. Basically in season one, how did it all start? With Stout's Banner Slayer saving Akane with the fucking crowbars, right? And then suddenly we came back and the way to end season two is to literally do the same shit again. Oh my God, this is beautiful. There's a whole new plot going around on Earth right now. I'm not sure if they collided with a different realm, but it looks like she's a savior and she's got some kind of weapon with like energy coming out of it. So this might as well be like some kind of mana, right? Right? So it's like maybe magic has been introduced here and people are going cyberpunk with their stuff like that. So I guess the next arc is Shadow just having a little arc in Earth. But what about the rest of the people back on wherever we came from? Are they going to figure out a way to, I don't know, show up? I have no clue, but goddamn, the plot just fucking went universal, literally. I didn't think we'd come back, but Akane Nishina or Nishino, she's been kind of like hinted that she might come back based on some like light novel covers and stuff. But it's like, how the fuck is this going to happen? We fucking reverse Isekai, a book close, a perfect way to end season two. Now I hear that there is a movie coming out. I'm not sure what it's gonna cover. It'd be nice if it actually covered the prison break arc, which was kind of glanced over in the last couple episodes, right? I'm not really sure if there's any more news about that. We'll definitely check that out too. And hey, Eminence in Shadow is the anime that pretty much saved my channel. This fucking anime has hard carried my fucking channel. And I thank every one of you for coming out, not just this season, or season one, two, and everyone else in chat right now, guys, guys, fucking go crazy. You guys in chat, thank you for watching with me live. And whenever the next, yeah, I, I don't think that like we're going to have another, what's the word? I don't think we're going to have another season announcement for a long time, right? Because like I hear the manga's caught up, but hey, we're still probably going to cover like Eminence and Shadow related content. I don't know, Master of Garden content. We still have Kage Jitsu to look forward to, so it's not over yet, but it is what it is. But hey, you're still here. If you'd enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.